Welcome, Your Highness. Our tribe, our families, and this land of ours is blessed now with your footprints on the sands. Thank you very much, Chief. It's my cherished wish to visit your land once, and today it has come true. I'm a man consumed with wanderlust, and never am I able to quench my thirst for travel. Our land is consecrated with your royal visit, my lord. Let the celebrations begin. for your hospitality which is known worldwide you will be showered with many more guests waiting to get soaked in your cordiality may this land be known to all around and across the world and may your land bask in prosperity we are honored your majesty here 
Please accept our gifts. I have a very special gift for you. The highly revered shake. Oh, what is it little girl? Come with me. Look here, I, Zuleika, the chief's daughter, is happy to offer you the tall tree as a gift. You may taste the fruits of the tall tree. How on earth did this tree happen to be here in the midst of the desert? This is the most precious gift of all, for it springs from the desire of the heart. I admire you, little girl, for your love, resilience, tolerance, and your strong desire. May this tall tree lift its stately head above the sands and stay here for years and years to come. And may the seeds of the fruits be spread everywhere. May every part of this tree be useful to mankind. May the tree furnish every visitor with food, fiber, and shade. This tree is symbolic of your hospitality. We are twice honored, Your Majesty. Please, may we proceed to our meals? Zul, give me some of those fruits too. No, that's specially for the shake. I don't want to share them with you. How mean of you, Zul. We have never tasted those fruits. No. Zuleika, give them some, darling. Abu, they're only for our highly revered shake. Dear little girl, you must never say no to anyone who asks for food. You must share your food with everyone. Haven't you heard of the parable of the long spoons? Story! Why, I love to hear one. Then here you go. Yay! Story time! I was waiting for this, to listen to stories from Yonderland. Then listen to me. One day, a man said to God, God, I would like to know what heaven and hell are like. God said, Come with me. In the darkest corner of the world, a group of people were sitting around a large bowl of soup, kept on a pillar in the middle of a pit. All of them appeared to be famished. They were holding spoons with very long handles and each found it impossible to reach into the bowl of soup and take a spoon full. But because the handle was longer than their arms, they could not get the spoons back into their mouths. It was totally chaotic. Suddenly, one of them realized the importance of sharing, and look what happened. understand the importance of sharing and caring? Man has to exist on this earth only along with other beings. Sometimes we tend to forget our interdependence with everyone and everything around us. So much so that we stop caring about them. 
But as the parable makes it clear, by doing so, not only don't we help others overcome their suffering, but we are also unconsciously harming ourselves, since we are all connected on a very deep level. I'm sorry. I shall do as you say, Your Majesty.